Grab your wallets. You might be able to bet on your favorite sports team soon. NBC2's Gage Golding found out how one Florida group is doubling down to make sports betting legal, plus how it could help your kids. Man, I wish I would have bet on this match soon. It could all be legal in Florida. There's a big political push backed by online sports betting giants FanDuel and DraftKings that could let you bet from the palm of your hand. The latest push for sports betting coming from the Political Action Committee, Florida Education Champions. In a statement, the PAC says they want to increase educational funding without increasing taxes for Floridians. FGCU economist Victor Klar says the state could hit a home run with sports betting when it comes to tax dollars. Things that economists refer to as sin taxes, so things that we think are bad, smoking, drinking, gambling. By regulating them, they get a cut of the sales revenue in the form of sales taxes. DraftKings and FanDuel are both pushing for the amendment to Florida's state constitution. Some Southwest Florida locals are too. I would vote yes. I have plenty of people I would bet on. It would be awesome, especially if we're winning. Tampa Bay is already there, of course, so I know I'd probably put a lot more money on Tampa Bay game. Both say putting money towards education is another W in the win column. If the money goes to education, I think that that would be great. It'll help out our kids, help the schools. We need all the help we can get right now. But if you think the deal could mean a drop in other taxes, you might strike out. It's not usually the case that they go, oh, we have so much money now we can reduce taxes in other areas. The proposed amendment has quite the distance to go before it actually gets on the ballot. The next step is getting more than 891,000 signatures from Floridians that support the idea. Reporting in Fort Myers, Gage Golding, NBC2. Not everyone is on board. The gaming wing of the Seminole Tribe has exclusive rights to sports betting at their Florida casino properties. Seminole Gaming calls the initiative, quote, a political Hail Mary. During the special session to approve the new gaming compact, lawmakers were warned the state could lose $50 million a year from the tribe.